In my period as Minister for Science between 1983 and 1990, when I was trying to redirect the nation's energy in terms of scientific capacity, it was particularly deflating when I met well-wishers in the street and they said, oh, are you still teaching at Dandenong High School? We remember you from the quiz. What are you doing these days? Pick a box and your host, Bob Dyer. Pick a box was a quiz program and I was there between 1960 and 1968. When I look at Barry, as I've been doing for half a century, I see an almost infinite recessions of them. I don't see one. It's like those Russian dolls. There are inner barriers. They go in and in and in, in an infinite regression. Not hidden deaths, because Barry makes no attempt to hide anything. In fact, he's incapable of telling a fib. He cannot obfuscate. If you ask him a question, you cop it. <laughs> Barry, name the first two presidents of the United States of America. First two? I can name all 34. Um, uh, well, I wish we had time, George but the Washington, first two... George Washington was the first from 1789 to 1797, and then from 1797 to 1801, John Adams. People will often come up to me in the street and ask, are you Barry Jones? And sometimes I say, well, I used to be. The President of the United States of America... I'm turning Ralph on. And they don't quite understand what I mean. And perhaps I don't even know what I mean either. Oh, you mean the president of the... What you, what you mean is... No, uh, I, I, I don't mean anything. I have it here. No. What I mean actually is that the persona of Barry Jones that they recognise in me from having seen me on television 20 years, 30 years, 40 years ago is now completely out of date. How about it, Mr. Walton? How you like it, boys? Uh, well, 70 years in a man's life. That's a lot to try to get into a new career. Oh, it's a good oh. shot, Tom. Sister, what do you think is the name?